Janet Freddy, thank you very much. Yes, it is time to, well, not quite time, but almost time to mount a hardy steed and hit the woods. Marsha yes. Hewitt with the Department of Ag. So you've invited us out here to Casey to check out by CMC Steel to check out some new trails. Tell yes. While we're here. This is wonderful. This is a joint venture with the Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. SCANA, DNR, the River Alliance to okay. allow horses out here first time ever having a big trail ride on this property. It's beautiful historic property and we we're thrilled to be here. Right, and this is just down at the end of 12th Street, by the way, just beyond uh, the city of Casey offices. Yeah. not too far out of town, yes. even if you're, you know, in Lexington or downtown Columbia, it's, it's like right it's here. It's 10 minutes from downtown Columbia. The closest public riding area for horseback riders mm -hmm. is 30, 40 minutes away. Right, like Camden, I know some places Camden, like Camden, Camden, Sumter, place Newberry. So there's no place like this no anywhere place around like if you've this, got a horse. No place like this in the Midlands. Why is that? Why, why aren't people more uh, into the um, S equine, equine? Well, they are. Did I say that right? Um, <laughs> every county in the state has a huge number of horses. You don't see them because horse farms tend to be in rural areas. Okay. Land closer to the city obviously is more expensive, and horse people like to be out in rural areas where sure. there's not traffic and there's not all that population. So every back street, back road in the state, you're going to find horses. But you won't find them on an interstate, and you won't see them on major highways. They just can't run 70 miles an hour. No. no. All right. You don't want to be fighting traffic. <laughs> they don't have a horn. They're not right, right. Horns, right? Yeah. All right, so this morning we're actually going out on a tread. I'm going to get to experience firsthand. Yes, hand. yes. Get on a horse. Super. Can I call him Silver? No, you have to call him his real name. Oh, come on. Can I wear a mask? You can wear a helmet. <laughs> you got to be safe, right? <laughs> well, first we're going to learn about some of the horse 101, you know, with all the, the saddles and whatnot that go on the horse, and we're going to hit the dusty trail sort of partner yes, yes. this morning on the Good Day trail. Columbia. The wet trail. It's wet this morning. Yes. Beautiful day. Yes. Wet yes. trail. And if you go to horse, we get details for you. Watch.com. Janet, friendy, don't be scared. It's a horse. Just don't talk about the business end of the horse. That's where they kick. All right, Janet Friendy, thank you very much. We're in Casey here, just along uh, the Casey uh, Boat Landing and the River Alliance, a very cool partnership with DNR and Scanna, and uh, just a lot of folks are getting together, allowing horses now to actually be rode on these trails back here, miles and miles of, of trails, and I'm really excited to go out here and ride. This is Savannah Del Rey and, of course, Wendy. Now, I'm not going to make me ride bareback, right? So we're going to go ahead and saddle up. Explain to me kind of how the, the Saddle 101 stuff goes on. We're going to start with the saddle pad. Okay. And that basically protects our saddle from the horse's sweat. All right. So if you just center it up there. Sure thing. There you are, sweetheart. You might want to turn it one quarter turn. Like that? That'll do. All right. There you go, sweetheart. Okay. We're going to come up I'm on just a little bit. All right, just have that little bump right there. Okay. And you're going to grab all of this. How heavy is this saddle? This one's probably about 17 pounds. Oh, that's not too bad. And she doesn't mind it, huh? There we go. All right. Good job. Good doing. Fine job there, Miss Savannah. What makes a good sale? This is the Western size. You know, there's, there's um, Western type and there's Western and English, right? Tell me the difference between the two. Um, Western's going to keep you in a little better. It's, right. It's, most people feel safer in it. And it fits you like a glove, right? Yeah, and that's for roping cows, not for holding on to. <laughs> Although you can hold on to it, I'm sure. All right, so you go ahead and you got to bring the strap around for her. Now what? This is her girth, which is mm -hmm. what keeps that saddle in place. All right. Now, is this uncomfortable for her? Is she, is she okay with that? She'll let you know if she bucks real bad. <laughs> I don't like it, Mom. I don't like it one bit. All right, of course, the trick is getting on tight enough so she doesn't slip around, right? Right. All right. But not so tight that you hurt her. Sure, sure. Um, now, how long do you, when you start a horse fresh in, in learning and teaching them how to, uh, to be ridden, how long does it take to actually get them ready to ride? If you start when they're born and working with them, you mm -hmm. just move right into it when they're old enough. Okay. All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and close, suck in, dear. How, yeah, how close is that to tying a tie? That's actually just about like I do every single darn morning. I'm well, not going to lie. Finish tight, not that. Just like that. Go ahead and just tie it on. And then pull it through. Just like that and pull it through here, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do that. Look at you, Miss Savannah. Mm -hmm. Done. And she's ready to go. Look at that. All right, and then up front here, we've actually already got the uh, the bridle on and everything, right? Got all yes. that. This is how yes. you, you steer the horse, correct? And the reins that, and the bridle. Explain me that stuff right there, Steve, as well. That is. She has on a western type bridle. Okay. And you pull to the left, pull to the right, pull back if you want to stop. <laughs> Just like that. There's no brake pedals on her. No. Exactly. Look at that. And so she's ready to go. We got the bridle, we got the bit in, we got the saddle on, ready to go. She is good. It's good and tight. So we're about to uh, hit the old dusty trail. Yes.
This is good stuff, guys. You can check it out. You can come out and take your own horse if you have one. If not, you find somebody who does. I'm sure they'd be happy to come out and ride with you. A very cool partnership, the Department of Agriculture and DNR and Scan Out here, just along the entire uh, river, along the Congaree River. We're going to go explore that, hopefully find the river if we don't get lost in the woods here this morning on a Tyler's Travels Adventure in Casey. Stay with us. we got a lot more coming back here from Casey, but I know there's a lot more on the show. Janet, Freddy? Savannah. All right, guys, Janet, Frandy, thank you very much. Yes, we've got uh, we've got Savannah Del Rey here, all tacked up and ready to go. Are you ready, sweetheart? She says yes, yes, yes. Miss Wendy here is going to be my guide in this show ride. This is kind of cool out here, right? The uh, the Casey Boat Landing, the River Alliance, all teaming together with DNR and Scanna to make this available to come out and take your own horse on these trails. So are you ready to go? Yes. This is very exciting. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and mount up. You ready? Ah, <sighs> it's hot. Hello, sweetheart. She has her own Facebook page. Just look for Savannah Del Rey. Savannah Del Rey has her own Facebook page. Does she correspond herself with her fans and friends? She sends word through me. <laughs> Just like that. How many carrots do you think she's going to eat? As many as you have. All right. All right, guys, we're going to hit the dusty trail here this morning. Don't forget, you can do this. We're going to put links for you to the River Alliance. And, of course, the boat landing here just opened up with a partnership with DNR and Scanner and our friends at CMC Steel and, and uh, just some fine folks who love to ride horses. Are you ready to hit the trail? Absolutely. Let's go hit the trail, guys. This is awesome. Lead the way. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. So what kind of wildlife and things are we going to see out in this trail? Is it just going to be quiet, just nice? Alligators, wild hogs. I'm sorry, did you say alligators? Alligators, there is an alligator warning sign. Um, so horses and alligators, are they good friends? Um, we haven't been anyone's supper yet. It's the don't yet go slow. that scares me. Don't be at the end. <laughs> <laughs> don't be on the slowest horse, right? There you go. Oh my goodness. Got to tweet out some pictures, you know. This is it, guys. The mighty Congaree River, Savannah. Casey, you see that? There's something really cool about being out here on a horse, uh, just kind of getting back with nature. Yes, I have a cell phone on me and a camera along with us, but uh, there is just something really cool about being right here on a, on a perfect day. Like I said, it's a couple of miles outside of the city of Columbia. You bring a horse, come down and experience uh, this whole thing for yourself. This is really, really neat today. Guys, I'm telling you, if you've not experienced this, find somebody who has horses. They'll be happy to take you on a trail ride. It's amazing over here. The, uh, right along the, uh, the River Walk and the River Alliance here in Casey, you can check it out. Brand new ways to check out nature right here. We're going to uh, be back in just a little while to learn a little more as we do the Tyler's Travels thing out in nature on some horses, as they say. Janet, Friendy, back to you guys. Thank you guys. Man, it has been a fun, fun morning. Miss Marsh, of course, Department of Agriculture. So we've ridden, we took out Miss Savannah Del Rey out for a little Wonderful. ride. Wonderful. Found the Con Congaree River. You found it, had a good time. Uh, it, was, it was amazing Isn't out there. Isn't that beautiful out here? There's something just kind of cool, very peaceful and yes. quiet. And yes. It's a whole lot of fun. So this partnership is something really neat, huh? Yes. So you got the Department of Agriculture and Scanna and yes. CMC Steel and of course uh, the River Alliance, all everybody DNR, together. DNR, DNR owns, uh, manages a lot of this property. Okay. They have been phenomenal about getting it ready, mowing, moving dead trees, right. making it safe for us. Are there any seasons or is it year round? Is that uh, the only weather permitting, thing of course? that keeps people from riding here would be deer flies in the summer. Okay. Other than that, it's a year round. Activity. Any cost at all? You just come out in front. So if you bring a horse, you bring a trailer down and you can... Um, what we are doing with Scanna and City of Casey and DNR is asking permission for horses to be allowed out here on a more, I won't say permanent basis, but um, sort of riding at will. And right. we're working with them on guidelines because obviously you can't just turn people loose. Sure. And this group today has been hand selected to be mature, responsible riders. They're Wait a second, I got the invite. I don't. <laughs> that's not quite true. Well, Flaw you, in the theory. Yeah. If I had known, we wouldn't have asked you. No, um, no. They're archae an archaeological site out here. Right. The Fort Congaree remains are here. Sure, that's what Miss Wendy had mentioned earlier. Yeah. That's really neat. And if you could get a lot of information from Mike Dawson with the River Alliance, they are actually staking out the battlefield from the Union Army that was here in 18. 65. Oh, wow. This is wow. an actual battle here. Right on here. this site, yes. Where you wow. rode is the remains of Fort Congaree, which was built in the 
Okay, Revolutionary War right. was Fort Congaree. Wow. Mike, Mike can tell you all this, but sure. there are Confederate earthworks out there that the Confederate soldiers put up to mm -hmm. stop the Union Army from crossing the river to go into Columbia. Right. They failed, but okay. it's a Again, big battle. I, you know, as we know, history tells us they were yeah. unsuccessful, but here was the battle. Right. Uh, you know, we're going to put some links up for you at watch.com to the River Alliance. You can t study yes. some history yourself as well. Yes. And I guess, who is this, by the way? This is Chiaro. He's my oh, Chiaro. paint. Oh. He's four. Four. He's kind of a camera hog. I mean, he, he, I see that. He likes to be the center of attention. That's all right. He's handsome enough to be the center of attention. This is great stuff, Miss Marsha. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing this this morning with us. Yes. This is such a cool thing. And guys, again, we'll put links on uh, on Watch.com for all this great, stuff. And great. Uh, if you have an opportunity to know somebody with a horse and have never ridden, I strongly recommend you say yes if your friends ask you to. Because there's yes. there's yes. something cool about just the, the sound of the leather creaking along. And it's quiet and it's just great. And this is such a beautiful property. And minutes from downtown Columbia. And the public can come out here anytime and mm -hmm. walk the trails, jog, bring their bicycles. This is a boat landing. I had no it's idea it was already here. Public access. No idea. It's and, well, that's what we want to do is get the word out. Yeah, well, we've done it today, guys. Thank All you. right, Ms. Marsha, you, you go ride. you got stuff thank to you, do. you got to happy trails. Yes. You guys, wanna, you it's a whole lot of fun. while I get on? Sure, I'll be happy to hold <laughs> your stirrup. Let me do that here. But, guys, as I'm holding her stirrup. Other uh, side. Other side. This side. All right, we're yes. going to go over here. Let me try this now. One more time. I'm going to try to close again. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hold the stirrup. But anyway, while I'm doing this, and they had it on the trail, back to you for the rest of the show. But, man, this is really awesome. Janet, Freddie, here we go. Okay. There you are, Miss Marsha. Thank you so much.